What's up, y'all? Something in Angular has really been bothering me for the longest time, and I think I finally figured out why. It's Angular version 9. Every week, Angular version 9, 9.0.0 specifically, is, the, is at the top of the weekly downloads list. Kevin Cruiser even whipped up an application built with analog SFCs called the Angular Download Tracker to show which version of Angular is the most downloaded in the last seven days. You can also go to the NPM package uh, for Angular Core and look at this data also. If we look at this data as of today, 16.2.12 uh, has the most downloads of the current tags. 15.2.10 follows up there. We have a few others that are over 100,000 downloads uh, for the past seven days, and even 3.5 million downloads for Angular Core weekly downloads. And even the latest version of Angular that uh, minus the one that just recently came out, 18.0.2, even itself has 132,000 downloads uh, as of this week. But if we go down and we look at 9.0.0, we see this has 453,000 downloads in the past week, which still makes it the top of the list, even though this Angular package is four years old. So that got me thinking. Why is it that this specific version of Angular is the most downloaded one every single week? So I did some digging. And what I did was I went into the Angular CLI uh, repo. And I went back to uh, version 9. So version 9.0.0 and the tags. And I wanted to see what packages were included with uh, Angular with Angular back then. So I went to schematics uh, folder, go to the Angular package and look at the workspace schematic. And the workspace schematic is what is used to scaffold out a new application when you run ng new uh, using the Angular CLI or if you generate a new project. So if we go into files and we go into the package JSON, uh, we can see that there are some usual things in here. We have Angular animations, Angular compiler, Angular Core, of course, because you need that with typically every Angular application. Other things like RxJS, ZoneJS, and some of the dev dependencies like the CLI and other tools that have come along the way. Even tools like Jasmine and Karma or even Protractor, some of these have been deprecated and are no longer in active development. But back then, these tools were the ones that we were using. Uh, all these tools are uh, maintained by external uh, ecosystems. Uh, except for, for the most part, uh, except for Codalizer. So if you don't know what Codalizer is, you may, you probably aren't using it by now, but uh, when this was released, uh, this package was a static analysis tool for Angular projects. Uh, you could think of it as ESLint or TSLint for Angular before those packages existed. So we can look and see that uh, this package was released, uh, last release, four years ago. So as ESLint and TSLint came along, uh, we no longer needed the Codalizer package, but it is included in this version 9.0.0 of Angular. So let's look at some of the other versions uh, that have come along and been released. We got version 10.0.0. Uh, it also has Codalizer in it, and it's up to version six now. If we go to version 11, uh, point oh, point oh. So this is just majors that we're looking at. So you can see that it would be included in every version of Angular up until then. Uh, this one also has uh, version 6.0.0 uh, and up. Uh, so if we go to, let's see, go to version 12. So if we go to version 12, we can see that Codalizer is not included, no longer included anymore in, uh, in Angular itself shipped with new Angular applications. And this is because at this point, uh, we had moved on to look at, they had looked at other strategies for running linting and static analysis on your project. So Codalizer, Codalizer was no longer needed there. But the last version of Codalizer was released uh, four years ago. Angular version nine was released four years ago. So they kind of coincide with along those versions. So back to Angular Core 9.0.0. .0 .0. 
let's look at the dependencies for Codalizer at version 6.0.1 that would have been included across those Angular versions. And this is where uh, the light bulb went off. Because as you can see, Angular Core and Angular Compiler are pin dependencies at 9.0.0 specifically in the Codalizer package. So from version 9, uh, somewhere along in version 9, and up, up until version 12, every release of Angular, every version, every new project had Codalizer included in it, along with these pin dependencies to version 9.0.0. So if we go back to our download numbers, these make more sense now. Codalizer is pinned to 9.0.0. This is a, not for version 9.0.0 to version 12 of Angular. All include the Codalizer package uh, and include that hard dependency. So if we look at the Angular compiler package, we can see a similar story here. Go to 9.0.0, 456,000 downloads in the past week. So it would be at the top of the list also. But if we look at something like Angular Common and we go to version 9.0.0, only 873 downloads, which is far less than what those other two packages have. And if we go and take a look at the Codalizer package itself, we can see that it has 668,000 downloads for a package that hasn't been updated in three years. And we can see, go back to our Angular numbers, 3.5 million downloads. So roughly uh, 600,000 of those downloads are from one package that's pinned to an old version of Angular. But the bigger issue is here is that between version nine and version 12, all these projects, all these examples, all of them are still pinned to that old version of Codalizer and it's pinned to that old version of Angular. So I said all that to say this version of Angular may be the most downloaded version of Angular forever. But what can we do about that? How can we, because you have to upgrade to Angular and you also have to delete this package from the project dependencies in those projects so it no longer gets downloaded. Because we have tools like ESLint now that handle this for us in later versions of Angular. And we have practically first party integration for ESLint and Angular now. So you can still run your linting and everything uh, and not need Codalizer anymore and not be pinned to these old versions. Did you know that this was the most version of, downloaded version of Angular? Uh, let me know in the comments. Also, let me know what version of Angular that you're on. because so I do think this is very interesting and in how we can see uh, what we can do to kind of remove this version from the current download numbers. It is interesting that if we take out 600,000 downloads of Codalizer based on those versions of Angular, then we also decrease the number of downloads to Angular Core, these other uh, Angular packages. So we'll kind of get a double effect there. We're measuring this more accurately, but we're also seeing a decrease because of these NPM downloads that are based on a package that isn't being used anymore, but it's still drawing numbers there. So let me know what you think in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel as it really helps me out. And with that, we'll see you in the next one.